I'm Madeline Spencer and I'm the head of assets and visual development for Cinesite London. When I was very young I saw an American Wolf in London on television and the transformation that Rick Baker did uh, of the, the lead character into the werewolf for the first time is just incredible and in that moment I knew I wanted to make creatures and characters for movies for a living. Zedbrush completely changed the way people approach thinking about sculpting and modeling for film and games and um, even collectibles and fine art. It's changed sculpture and it's brought digital modeling and the tradition of sculpture together. So now when someone approaches modeling they're learning how to think about form and how to think about anatomy in a way that was really difficult to sort of do uh, when you were putting points in space or building something with nerves. Now you're just taking a brush and sculpting on a virtual ball of clay. There's an enormous amount of resources online now for people that want to be self-taught. Uh, they can seek out tutorials on YouTube or they can go to a, a school. It's something that's, that's new, I think, in the past sort of generation that there's so much information out there and so many avenues for learning that people are learning really quickly and really soon and that's, again, pushing the envelope of the quality of work. So the good news is the tools are out there and easily accessible if anyone's watching this and they think, I want to do that. Well, it's, it's all at your fingertips. Can I tell you one more story I forgot to tell you? Yes, As that young uh, aspiring filmmaker in Atlanta, Georgia in the 1990s, early 2000s, I got an invitation to Kodak's presentation of their new company, Cinecite. And I was absolutely thrilled. It was all the... the the uh, intelligentsia of the Atlanta film industry were there and I got to, to be part of it, rubbing elbows. It was really, really exciting. And then flash forward a few years and, and my last film as a, as a makeup effects artist when I was sculpting in clay before I decided to do digital, uh, I was working on a movie called Eight-Legged Freaks and I had just started thinking about 3D modeling and I was sculpting in clay, uh, tarantula. And I thought it'd be great if I had better reference. And someone said, you should see if we can get the 3D model. So I don't know who this modeler was, but I spoke to a modeler working for Cinecite on Eight Legged Freaks making the tarantula. And they gave me some screenshots to use for reference on the film. And that just was what sort of kicked the door open for me to, to start doing digital modeling. So thank you to the unknown 3D modeler Cinecite that helped launch this part of my career. Happy 30th birthday, Cinecite.